I'm in Hindlesham and Chattersham Village Hall in my South Suffolk constituency where I've invited my constituents who are affected by proposals to build pylons to come and hear from ESO about potential alternatives to pylons. We have standing room only here, such as the huge public interest in what's going to happen to their countryside in terms of future electrical transmission plans. So we know National Grid have a plan to put pylons across South Suffolk, indeed across East Anglia. My position's always been, what are the alternatives? They've not been open about the alternatives and what those choices are. We've wanted to see information about other options. Finally, tonight, ESO, who've been absolutely brilliant, have come to this village hall and spelt out in fine detail the comparative costs and all the pluses and minuses of other options. And so we've seen an offshore option and we've seen this high voltage DC underground option, which we think probably overall is the best alternative. It's underground, so you don't have pylons, but it's very comparable in cost to the pylons themselves. So we think that's very positive and that's the one I'll be looking into in much more detail. It's very pretty where we are actually, we've got beautiful country just around us and, um, and it's always flat in Suffolk of course but um, it's still, it's got a lovely open feeling of space and lovely skies. Suffolk is such a beautiful county and to have the, the blight of these pylons through it would be catastrophic. The options that they've given us I think um, looking around the room tonight and how everybody's responded to it, I think that um, the, the actually burying it underground, although that has consequences, as do all of the options, is probably the strongest option that we've got. And I'm personally, that's the one that I would endorse. Well, one of the reasons we managed to persuade ESO to carry out this independent review is because we've stood together as MPs collectively, uh, Suffolk, Norfolk, Essex, but in fact there's pylons now planned in Lincolnshire, in Yorkshire. Other MPs want to see what we're doing, learn from it, and I think together, as a team of MPs, we will continue to put pressure on the government, but I will be saying to them, look, we've got an alternative here, a credible alternative to pylons, which is affordable, but doesn't leave lasting damage to the countryside. Events like this, which are organised by our MPs, in this case James Cartledge, MP for South Suffolk, are absolutely brilliant for local people because they can come along, they can ask questions, they can understand more about a really, really damaging project that's really worrying for them um, and go away with hope that actually these things can be challenged. Um, many people we hear think it's a done deal. It's not a done deal. If you come along to an event, then you can actually start to work through these problems and find a solution.